My name's Marina and I work here at the Music Education Centre and if you've called us recently, it's likely that I've picked up the phone. I enrol students, talk about lesson inquiries, talk to parents, um, I talk to teachers and talk to the schools. Great, excellent. So tell me about some of the feedback from parents about what they've enjoyed about having their kids learning online. I find that the most common answer is that children are kind of liking the flexibility that they get with learning online and being able to learn with their parents nearby as well. I have noticed that that's been a positive because the parents can actually see what's happening within the lessons, which is really good. It gives them a better insight than what's happening within the music and schools. Cool. And so what sort of positive things are teachers telling you about how the lessons are going well in an online environment? Teachers are finding the same, the flexibility is really good, they can sort of merge their students together and because they have, they don't have to travel between schools, they do have extra time slots to fit in with these students' um, flexible timetables, but the teachers are struggling as well as the students when it comes to learning online through internet issues and Skype and Zoom. Cool. So what are the common things that you're hearing from parents about the challenges they're experiencing in online learning? The, the parents are telling me that their main concern is that their children are sort of lacking practice and sort of lacking the enjoyment because they don't have that face-to-face -face, um, communication with their teacher. They have learned all day at school online and then when it comes to their music lesson, they are a little bit exhausted after sitting in front of a screen all day. Um, it doesn't mean that they don't enjoy learning music or talking to the teachers, it's just that they are probably not finding being in front of a screen as productive as it would be face to face. Okay, so what sort of advice then are you giving parents who are saying that their children aren't enjoying the online learning so much? The advice that I'm giving parents mainly is to keep up playing. Playing is very important because playing means you're, they're practicing. And when it comes to the online lessons, it's really good to show the teacher the progress. Even if they aren't wanting to sit in front of the screen, they can have a week off or change a time to a time where they're more suitable, maybe on a weekend, depending on what the teacher's saying. They don't have to have their lessons directly after school. We are super flexible and just talk to your teachers about it and they're happy to help. Cool. So coming back to your own experience when you were learning music and learning an instrument and, and you realized that perhaps what you were learning wasn't the right thing for you. Tell me about, about your personal experience in that area. Well, when I was in high school, I actually played guitar for three years. I got three years of lessons. I would refuse to practice, refuse to play. And I sort of thought that I just wasn't very musical and maybe music wasn't my thing. But then when I was around 21, I learned that I actually really like playing the drums. And now I am quite an avid drummer and I do enjoy drumming and I do get excited when it comes to when I can drum and when other people talk about the topics with me. I love chatting to the drum teachers as well. Um, so it doesn't mean that I am not musical. It means that I just, guitar wasn't my instrument. Okay, cool. So what are the common frustrations that parents are telling you about online learning? Well, I've, I've had one frustration that I have noticed actually that is the teachers aren't there to actually tune the instruments which um, can be frustrating because when they are learning it's not tuned properly and because they are beginner students they don't actually know how to do it and doing it over like a computer is quite difficult so that's one frustration that I have heard and also I have heard some from some teachers as well they feel like they just want to reach through the screen and grab the guitar from the student and just tune it for them but just because we can't do that at the moment that has been quite a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Okay cool. Now you had a teacher tell you that practicing a song three times wasn't necessarily a good thing. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah telling your child that they need to practice a song for you um, or doing a song three times is, is not the way to go. You need to ask your child, tell them that they, you want them to play for you. Can you can you show me what you've learned in, in class? Can you show me what you've been learning? I'm really excited to see what you've been learning. I want to see you playing. And the child will get excited and be like, you know, I'll show them, I'll show them. Whereas if you're asking them to practice, they're going to think it's some sort of homework and the amount of time that they'll take to practice the song could be 10 times longer than if you just ask them to play it. So why is music a good learning activity that might be a solution for online fatigue instead of a cause of online fatigue? 
Well, once the lesson is over, playing an instrument, you're not looking at a screen, you're looking at your instrument and you can play it, a lot of instruments you can play anywhere that you like, such as a guitar, you can play it outside, you can play it indoors, you know, you can play it for your family, you don't have to be stuck in front of a screen. So it's quite good to just not be looking at that screen. In fact, it probably will help with that online fatigue. As well as learning music is a lot different than reading and writing, you know, playing is totally different. So it definitely would be able to help with that. Cool. So all of this lockdown carries on into the new year. Um, you know, we can't, can't get back face to face. What's your advice to parents? Well, I say that it's very important to continue learning. It's similar to any type of learning, music. If you don't keep it up, you will lose it or lack it when you try and start again. Being able to stay motivated and keep playing is very, very important because then the progress is still happening from playing. And doing it over the summer and even if we're still in lockdown then, practice, practice makes perfect. And if you just keep practicing, keep playing, it really will increase their music ability and it will make it that the time that you have had lessons online really worth it.